And now, Veterans Voices of the Blue Ridge, sponsored by Kubota of Lynchburg and Our Lady of the Valley. Tonight's Veterans Voices takes us to the classrooms of Franklin County, where Dr. Kevin Sears is looking to make a difference using his military training. Our Jermaine Farrell catches up with the former Army Reservist and National Guard member nearly two months after he took the job in this week's Veterans Voices of the Blue Ridge. I had always wanted a career in education from the time I was a public school student in West Virginia. And I'd always thought about joining the military, so the, the path I was able to take actually allowed me to do both through my service in the Army Reserves and National Guard. I got the military exposure. I had over two years of active duty experience, but I also was able to further my education and uh, take advantage of the different types of supports and resources that the military makes available to further your education. And it allowed me to have a, uh, a career Dr. Kevin Sears has been called to serve not only his country, but the needs of educating the youth for more than 30 years. From 1989 to 2008, he served in the Army Reserve in the National Guard, where Dr. Sears was called up for active duty in Operation Joint Endeavor in the mid-1990s and during 9-11. Education-wise, he used his military benefits to get his undergraduate degree from West Virginia's Concord University, a master's from Appalachian State, and his doctorate from Virginia Tech. In the classroom, Dr. Sears taught at the elementary and middle school levels while working on his higher education degrees. Dr. Sears was in administration in North Carolina and West Virginia, but locally he was a principal at Christiansburg High School, then Pulaski County Public School Superintendent. Now he is in his current role in Franklin County as school superintendent. And for Dr. Sears, it is all about serving the community and the youth in the classroom. As a teacher, you're definitely better able to facilitate a positive impact on individual students. As a principal, you're able to work collectively with a large group of students to impact their life and hopefully make their educational experience better. And then as a superintendent, you're able to look at all the systems that go into play to make sure that schools are successful and, and, and you're able to have a positive impact that way. So each role has been enjoyable and, and hopefully I've been able to contribute something positive at each role in education. Overall, all roads for Dr. Sears' success came from his time serving his country in the military. I think it was incredibly rewarding. It opens up a, a lot of opportunities for your career and for your education, as well as uh, expanding your uh, exposure to different cultures and different ways of life. And it's just a great experience, and I can't recommend it enough to anyone who might be considering to take that path. In Rocky Mount, for Veterans Voices of the Blue Ridge, Jermaine Farrell, WFXR News. Dr. Sears told Jermaine that he's not only thankful for all those who helped him in the military, but in the education field as well. You can see Jermaine's full interview with Dr. Sears, as well as his previous Veterans Voices stories posted on our website under the Veterans Voices tab. Now, if you know a Blue Ridge veteran who deserves some recognition, we want to meet them. Send us their information to the email address you see right there on your screen. That's news at WFXRTV.com.